Early in his life, Ramses II embarked on numerous campaigns to restore possession of previously held territories lost to the Nubians and Hittites and to secure Egypt's borders. He was also responsible for suppressing some Nubian revolts and carrying out a campaign in Libya. Though the Battle of Kadesh often dominates the scholarly view of Ramses II's military prowess and power, he nevertheless enjoyed more than a few outright victories over Egypt's enemies. During his reign, the Egyptian army is estimated to have totaled some 100,000 men. A formidable force that he used to strengthen Egyptian influence. In his second year, Ramses II decisively defeated the Sheridan Sea Pirates who were wreaking havoc along Egypt's Mediterranean coast. By attacking cargo-laden vessels traveling the sea routes to Egypt, the Sheridan people probably came from the coast of Ionia. From southwest Anatolia or perhaps, also from the island of Sardinia Ramses posted troops and ships. At strategic points, along the coast and patiently allowed the pirates, to attack their perceived prey before skillfully catching them by surprise in a sea battle, and capturing them all in a single action. A steel from Tanis speaks of their having come in their warships from the midst of the sea, and none were able to stand before them. There probably was a naval battle somewhere near the mouth of the Nile. As shortly afterward, many Sheridan are seen among the pharaoh's bodyguard, where they are conspicuous, by their horned helmets having a ball projecting from the middle, their round shields, and the great now two swords, with which they are depicted in inscriptions of the Battle of Kadesh. The immediate antecedents, to the Battle of Kadesh were the early campaigns of Ramesses II into Canaan. His first campaign seems, to have taken place in the fourth year of his reign and was commemorated by the erection, of what became the first, of the commemorative stele of Nair el Kalb near what is now Beirut, the inscription is almost totally illegible due to weathering. Additional records tell us, that he was forced to fight a Canaanite prince, who was mortally wounded by an Egyptian archer, and whose army subsequently, was routed. Ramses carried off the princes of Canaan as live prisoners to Egypt. In the fourth year of his reign, he captured the Hittite vassal state of the Amuru during his campaign in Syria. The Battle of Kadesh, in his fifth regnal year was the climactic engagement, in a campaign that Ramses fought in Syria. Against the resurgent Hittite forces of Muwatalis, the pharaoh wanted a victory at Kadesh, both to expand Egypt's frontiers into Syria, and to emulate his father Seti, triumphal entry into the city just a decade or so earlier, he also constructed his new capital, Hiramses. There he built factories to manufacture weapons, chariots, and shields, supposedly producing some 1,000 weapons in a week. About 250 chariots in two weeks, and 1,000 shields in a week and a half, after these preparations. Ramses moved to attack territory in the Levant, which belonged to a more substantial enemy than any he had ever faced in war. Ramses' forces were caught in a Hittite ambush and outnumbered at Kadesh. When they attacked and routed the Hittites, whose survivors abandoned their chariots and swam the Orant River to reach the safe city walls. Ramses, logistically unable to sustain a long siege, returned to Egypt. Egypt's sphere of influence was now restricted to Canaan while Syria fell into Hittite hands, Canaanite princes. Seemingly encouraged by the Egyptian, incapacity to impose their will and goaded on by the Hittites, began revolts against Egypt. In the seventh year of his reign, Ramses II returned to Syria once again, this time he proved more successful against his Hittite foes. During this campaign he split his army into two forces, one force was led by his son, Amun, and it chased warriors, of the Shazu tribes across the Negev as far as the Dead Sea. Capturing Edom Seir, it then marched on to capture Moab, the other force, led by Ramses, attacked Jerusalem and Jericho. He too then entered Moab, where he joined his son, the reunited army that marched on Hesbon, Damascus. And finally, recaptured Apinia, the land around Damascus, re-establishing Egypt's former sphere of influence. If you like this content, 
wait for us in next video we have more. Don't forget to subscribe, thanks for watching.